Ladies and gentlemen, Hydro homies, welcome to Hydroneer. My name, of course, is Obda Potato, and if you've never heard of it, Hydroneer is a wonderful little indie simulation strategy tycoon game that has you extracting minerals from the ground and uh, using those profits to increase the size of your mining operation. That's right. So, um, I have purposefully, 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 purposefully held off on playing this game until it came out in early access because it looks fantastic. Right, so this is it. And uh, the kind of unique thing about this game, I guess, is that you interact with everything in a very human way. So we got a couple of starting tools over here. Uh, we got a, uh, a basic shovel, which is lovely. And the crazy thing is, is that you can just interact with the world. You know, if I want to dig a hole, dig, uh, dig all the way down right over here, I can do just that, which is, uh, which is really quite nice. I like, uh, I like that. I like that a lot. But of course, we ain't here to just dig. We're here to, we're here to mine, we're here to make money, and we're here to refine. That's right. All of these things are, uh, are gonna happen. So, we'll head over to the water right over here and uh, we've got this plot of land with uh, with which to work with which is exactly what we're going to be doing we've also got a bucket here we've got a pan we've got a brush and we've got a map and we also have a lantern just at the uh, just at that little uh, little lamp post over there so that's cool so what we're going to do in the first instance is we're going to try and refine our first little bit of uh, our first little bit of little bit of dirt into hopefully something valuable. So I'm gonna load this bucket up right now. There we go, just load it up, load it up, load it up right to the top, brilliant. Then we were, we'll take this bucket right over here. We'll drop you down, we'll take the brush out of the pan and we will take the pan into the water, get that nice and filled up right to the brim. Move you a little bit over there, perfect. And then I'm going to dump the contents of this bucket. There we go, into the pan. Simple as that, bada bim, bada boom. We pick up the brush and uh, we say, hey. Oh, look at that, look at that. We uh, we brushed all of the dirt away and we are left with a wonderful little, what is this? This is a little bit of gold ore. That looks pretty darn cool. All right, and so the gold ore can be melted in a crucible into a bar or sold to the jeweler. Very, very, very cool indeed. So that is very, very basically the uh, the most basic form of refining refining dirt into minerals. So I'm gonna drop this uh, this little bit of gold right over there, and we're gonna do a little bit more a little bit more uh, a little bit more excavation, a little bit more digging, a little bit more refining. I, I don't know, can we go directly into the pan? We can go directly into the pan. I don't know why we're not going to go directly into the pan. That seems like a totally reasonable thing to do. We go directly into the pan, then we can fill it up with water. I'm sure that'll be absolutely fine. There we go. Can we go uh, Can we go direct into the a pan? Okay, maybe we can't go directly into the pan. Let's fill it up with water and see what the heck uh, see what the heck happens. All right. We filled up with net. We filled up with uh, resources now. No. Okay. Apparently, we cannot do that. That's that's an illegal maneuver. However, that gave us a whole chunk of iron ore, which is lovely. All right. So it turns out we can go to the pan directly as long as we don't stick too much in the pan. Apparently, there you go. The more you know, eh, folks. The more you know. Anyway, we're gonna get to resource selling in just a second. There we go. Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Mon ami. This is a shard, a mysterious crystal used to power pressure tanks. Okay, well, that's pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Can't be too unhappy with that. Let's continue, shall we? Right into the river, plunging in, grabbing, grabbing a little bit of dirt, plop a little bit of dirt in there. Uh, we need the brush. Excellent, and let's uh, let's clean that up. And again, another bit of gold, it looks like. Wonderful. Okay, so this is like at the most very basic level exactly what we need to do. However, it's not going to be manual for long. It's going to be uh, it's going to be an improved process very, very, very soon indeed. As soon as as soon as we have uh, a little chunk of change with which to go and buy some stuff. And I think, indeed, the next location that we're going to want to go... Did we seriously get nothing? What a... what a crummy... What a crummy bit of dirt. What a... what a miserable bit of dirt. You reckon there's better patches? Better, uh... Better areas to get... to get good stuff from? Because I reckon there might be. 
I reckon there very much might be. Also, I don't even know why I'm bothering to go all the way across here. I think I just might, uh, I think I might just use this bucket as a vestibule with which to transport valuable goodies. So let's plonk you right into there. Wonderful. And then we'll just continue, we'll just continue to get, uh, I don't know, we don't need to do, we don't need to do much more. But, uh, but I figure, you know, we want to at least, we want to at least have a good base with which to, uh, with which to start. There we go, fill water up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh man, I tell you what, even this is just unbelievably therapeutic, and I absolutely, <laughs> I absolutely adore it. It's really good, it's really good fun. There we go, and you into there. Look at this, look at this, we're actually mining, we're actually making money, this is, this is incredible. I tell you what, if only, if only finding gold, finding iron, finding all that stuff, if only it was as fun and as, uh, and as realistic in the real world. Can you imagine? I guess this is kind of why people, like, you know, went, uh, went prospecting for gold, right? I mean, there's just that, there's just that belief that maybe you could find, excuse me, thank you, uh, maybe you could find, maybe you could find that, you know, that million, that million dollar nugget of gold. Man, oh man, oh man, this is looking good. Okay, so basically, I think that is gonna be enough to get us, uh, to get us started. I think we've, uh, we've panned enough resource manually. So we're gonna go and head on over to the, uh, the shop right now. Okay, that's, that's nothing. Alright, grand. Let's grab our bucket, let's grab our bucket of goodies, and let's head on over to here. Drop our bucket of goodies, and we will add on in all of the resources. Just like so. Uh, I don't really know if shards can be utilized uh, in a financial sense. I don't think they can, so I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna be able to make money from the shard, but we'll find out in just a second. Uh, right. So let's have a little look at the map and see exactly where we are. It's a little bit off screen, but I can't help that. I'm afraid. As you can see, we are the. We're the diamond blue dot, which is kind of cool, and I'm looking for the jeweler. The equipment store and the stock market. So the jeweler seems to be up in this direction, straight over yonder. There also seems to be an equipment store right over here. I should note that this vehicle is uh, is a vehicle that we can drive, which is quite cool. Basically, a big old a big old tractor thing. I I don't really think that it's going to be super necessary uh, for us to concern ourselves with that at this moment in time. However, undoubtedly, we will need to concern ourselves with it at some point in the future. So. Yeah, we don't have any cash at the moment, so we can't actually buy anything, but this is the way that we interact with this, uh, with this shop. However, there's a bunch of different bits and bobs in the, in the shop. What have we got here? We've got some buckets. Buckets cost one coin, which is very, very nice. Very, very cheap. Brushes and buckets, both dirt cheap. Hey! Uh, basic shovel, very cheap as well. Pickaxe is 122 coins. Lanterns are pretty darn cheap. Okay, an improved shovel. An improved shovel, I like that a lot. A fishing rod, we can get a blacksmithing hammer, a casting mold, an anvil, a small furnace, a crucible, a light post, wonderful. I like the idea of a light post. Uh, and we can also buy a whole bunch of water pipes, a whole bunch of valves, an intake water pipe, a mining helmet, ooh yes, that looks good. Uh, a map, a construction hammer, and a bed. All right, so for, you know, a bunch of a bunch of resources in the shop. That's not too bad. I like that. I like the look of that a heck of a lot. Right. Let's see if we can try and offload some of this uh, some of this junk. I mean, some of this highly valuable treasure that I absolutely should not be referring to as junk. We're going to see if we can try and find the jewelry store, which I believe should be right at the top. Oh, right, right there. It's right there. It's right there, and it's so perfect. So uh, the way that you interact, the way that you interact with. Uh, the way that you interact with this game is we are gonna stick, we're gonna stick the bucket right on the, right on the table. Now, as you can see, when I hover over the table, it changes the value, it changes the value on the, on the placard right over there. And I believe that if I plonk this down and press this button, what do you know, bada bim, bada boom, we get 54 coins. It's literally that simple. And uh, as a consequence, as a consequence, all of the stuff in our bucket has been uh, has been emptied, apart from the shard. So yeah, as suspected, the shard doesn't actually have a monetary value. It's got a it's got a more practical value. So uh, so that's definitely something to consider. 
as we go forward. Uh, because we're gonna need to we're gonna need to do some shenanigans with the shard as we go. Uh, there are a couple of other buildings in the world. I don't think anything is of uh, is of any relevance at this moment in time. There is the stock market, which we may need to consider um, at some point. But that is uh, you know that's that's gambling really, and and that's not that's not what I'm about. That's not what I'm about at all. Uh, right. So right. So 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 so. Uh, wood foundation as well. A uh, wood foundation is uh, is actually. Definitely something that we're probably going to need in order to in order to build stuff a lamppost I kind of like the idea of a lamppost to be honest. I kind of want to buy I kind of want to buy a lamppost We've got a la a lantern ah find more items in uh, What's that bridge pour? Interesting 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 indeed right so if I put the lamppost on this big old big old tile thing then I should be able to just buy it if I if I manage to fish my coin out of here. There we go. Fish my coin out of here. I stick my coin in the bucket. Bada bim, bada boom. How much money do I have left? I got twenty two. I got twenty two money left. I like that a lot. Should I buy a bucket as well? I feel like I should buy a bucket as well as this lamppost. Because if I buy a bucket, then that means that I can at least store my coins in a slightly better vestibule. That kind of makes sense, right? Uh, wrong, wrong place. Wrong place, but you know, enthusiasm for sure. Should I buy a pan as well? Another pan? I feel like buying another pan is just gonna pretty much double my effectiveness. Tell you what, I'm gonna buy one more final bucket. So that means that we can store shards in one bucket, coins in another bucket, and, uh, you know, unrefined unrefined ores in the last bucket. It's also starting to get a little bit dark, which is actually the exact reason... There we go. Get that bot. It's actually the exact reason that I have decided to buy a lamppost. Is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? I sure as heck hope it will. Uh, am I gonna be able to stick down a lamppost right over here? Oh, you... you golden... you golden egg. Oh, look at this. Look at this, folks. Oh, look at this. This is wonderful. This is not falling in the river. That's not wonderful. All right. That's really, 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 really nice. Um, I think buying the bed, honestly, might just be like a secondary priority. It's... Oops. Let's get that... Get that activated. There we go. Now we're talking. Okay. So we got two... We got two lighting... We got two lighting utensils. Two lighting utensils? Two... Two lamps. We got two lamps. Anyway, um, I guess my priority is is to make sure that you guys can see exactly what the heck is happening, uh, as opposed to, as opposed to maybe. Whereas the normal priority uh, might be getting more pans and whatnot. I'm very much trying to make sure that uh, you know we can we can see exactly what we're doing in in glorious color over over next to the river, which is totally fine. All right, so we're just gonna move a couple of our bits and bobs across. Uh, I mean, I don't suppose that I can stack these buckets up, can I? Nope. It was a it was a valiant it was a valiant attempt, and yet an unsuccessful one. Right. Let's just move my resources out of the shop. You know, just in case the shopkeeper decides to get a little bit stingy, just in just in case he decides to to retake what I have rightfully bought, we're gonna make sure that we are a hundred percent a hundred percent out of his air. We want to we want to make sure that all of our stuff is uh, is right by this lamppost. Cool. All right. Great. Let's do a smidgen more a smidgen more mining, and then I think we're gonna have even more cash. Right. So right into there, into there. I think I think I want to try and get a pipe next. Truth be told, if I'm able to get a pipe, then that's gonna mean. I don't have to do this little uh, this little dance in and out of the river, which would be which would be a pretty big optimization to make, to be honest. Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! We got two two little bits of gold. Oh, I'm so excited! This is fantastic. All right, uh, get this bucket, this bucket, this bucket, this bucket. Come right over here. Wonderful, and pick you up into there. Oh, just a little, just a little, a little bit of gold ore. All right, well, you know what? That's that's a bit disappointing. I was expecting, I was expecting a big chunk. A big chunk would be would be real nice. Right. So yeah, 
Ooh, excuse me. That bucket went flying. That bucket went absolutely flying. Sorry, not bucket. It's a pan. There's a big difference. Huge difference. Right. A disappointing amount of absolutely nothing. And a, uh, a little bit of iron ore. Lovely. Man, I cannot wait to start smelting some jewelry. So, uh, as you probably were able to gather by the fact that there is a jeweler in the game, that jeweler, interestingly enough, is interested in buying jewelry. So, if we're able to craft some jewelry, then that is, uh, you know, that's a step in the right direction for sure. Oops, a daisy. Okay. Yeah, so jewelry. Jewelry can be made, I believe, on an anvil. Oh, that's a nice chunky bit of gold ore right there. That's that's real good. That is very, very nice indeed. Okay. Uh Yikes. That was uh, not a good sound to have to have happen, but that's fine. Oh man. I love this. I love this. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm properly getting into my uh, to my gold processing. Oh, that was that is absolutely lame. Um, I also saw in the shop, and I'm sure you will have seen in the shop too, dear viewer, uh, the the improved shovel. So I think that this shovel is is pretty limited with what it can actually do. It's it's very much very much not that great. Did I just tip that out? Did I just tip did I just tip that out like a bit of an idiot? I just tipped that. I just I bloomin' well did. I tipped that dirt out. That ain't uh, that ain't that ain't sensible at all. I just dropped that brush. Also, not very sensible. Oh come on! I've not had a double. I've not had a double whammy of gold in a good long time. I mean, what the heck is happening here? What the heck is happening here? Oh look at this! My bucket is getting my bucket is getting blooming full. That's for sure. All right. Okay. Just in there, just like so. Pan has fallen down the hill again. Wow, I hate when that happens. <laughs> Potato, you total idiot. You total idiot. I just I just clicked the I clicked the wrong button and you know suddenly all of my water is gone. It's a disaster. What can I say? Not very much. I can only apologize and uh, promise that it won't happen again. That's right. Alright, and a little bit of iron ore. I mean, good throw, but you know, terrible, terrible receiving on the uh, on the buckets part. Absolutely not my fault. Right. I think a I think a pipe honestly is uh, is what we can get next. That would be that would be pretty darn that would be pretty darn cool. I mean, the fact that you can automate a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of this production is just so. Uh, it's just so exciting to me. You know. The fact that we can the fact that we can optimize everything is uh, is great. I should point out that this game is currently in early access. Did I see a double? I saw a double. Uh, this game is currently in early access, and the developer has uh, has so far been fantastic at responding to community feedback and making a whole bunch of changes. So I mean, this game I I suspect has a long and illustrious future ahead of it, which is tremendously exciting because whenever you come across a game that you just know is good and you want to play it more and more and more it's so great it's so great when the developer is uh is committed to it it really is great all right nope okay a little bit of iron that ain't too bad at all so i think with that i think with that we will smash that little bit of iron in there and then we are going to take a little gander back up to the jewelry store. It's a little bit dark, but I think for the most part we should be just fine. All right, right up to the jewelry store. What you, what's your bet? Uh, maybe 60? 60, 60 bits of gold? That's probably what I'm betting. 81 fine bits of gold. Well, I will take that. That's a wonderful deal if ever I did see one. Right, let's smash our coin into that bucket right over there. So that leaves us with what, like 90 gold or roundabouts? Something something around that? Ah, uh, that's not too shabby. That is not too shabby at all. Do I want to hardcore parkour into the into the equipment shop? Not really. I don't think so. I don't think that's even remotely appropriate, Potato. Why would why would you suggest such a thing? Come on, you're a professional. Professional YouTuber. <laughs> right. 
so, yeah, so that's 80, 89, 89 gold, 89 gold. Let's take my bucket to the front door. Let's leave it there. And then let's have a little look. So, an intake pipe pumps water into pipe system at 50% pressure. Okay, that's interesting. A cork placed at the end of the pipe to stop water flow. Stops or converts or conveys water flow. It decreases water pressure by 1%. I mean, there is so much. A small furnace placed down to use can heat up crucible and bars for crafting. An anvil as well. I mean, certainly getting, getting bars is is something that I'm very much interested in. Very, very, very much interested in. I think, to be honest, we just need to consider gems and to cut gems easily with this mounted stone wheel. I mean, we could take a little gander. In fact, I might take a little gander tomorrow when the, uh, when the day, when the day arrives. Might take a little gander to the other store to see exactly what the heck is going on over there. So, an intake water pipe, an intake water pipe, and then just a regular water pipe, I think. Let's see if if this will work. So, that's going to cost us 58 gold. I think I can afford that. Let me just smash my bucket in uh, in here. No, it's it needs to be out with the bucket. Totally fine. I'll get my big coin then, shall I? There we go. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, I think I can combine these coins. I believe. He says, confidently. Can I, if I drop one on top of the other? No, apparently not. Alright, doesn't particularly matter. Right, so we end up with a, with a pump. A water intake pump, which is very, very cool. Let's see if we can try and deploy this. So that means that I don't have to do the, the fancy dance. Ah, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. So, what is, what is the situation here? What are the chances of me being able to do something like that? I mean, that's not bad. Uh, ideally, I would be able to rotate it, though. Is, uh, is rotation a thing? It doesn't seem to be a thing. It's not necessarily a problem. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to be... I guess it doesn't have to be on land. Uh, I, just, I guess it doesn't have to be in the water. But I presume that it does have to be in the water, right? Alright, well, let's let's have a little test, shall we? Let's have a little flipping test. Let's go back and grab our other pipe. I guess we can leave our bucket here. Our bucket with cash. Conveys water. Conveys water. I, conveying water? Is that really a thing that happens? There, look, rotation must be a thing. Rotation must be a thing. I'm just being an idiot. I'm just being an idiot. This this cannot this cannot be allowed to happen. I, I simply refuse. There we go. All right. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the assumption here that uh, we need to have this we need to have this in the water. So. Let's put you in the water. Let's get you rotated like so. Uh, that's really rather inconvenient, actually. Sure. Oh. 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 Well, there is water there. There is water. There is a measly, measly, measly amount of water. All right, we need a little bit more elevation on the uh, on the old pipe, I think. All right, let's, <laughs> let's see if I can get this see if I can get this nailed down. Right, is that gonna is that gonna actually end up outputting pipe? Uh, outputting pipe? Uh, end up outputting water? I don't think it will. You know that, and I don't think that that's gonna make any difference either. Uh, which means we need to we need to get him lowered back down. All right, I've got a solution for this. I've got a solution for this, chaps. This is gonna work. Right. So that should be fine, right? And we smash this down here. All right, and then you don't work, which is of course great, fantastic. 
Can I put you down? Can I put you down there? All right, no, you don't seem to work. You seem to only work in very specific circumstances. But now you're not working again. All right, I, I would say that I'm very confused because I am very confused. All right, we got, we got, we definitely have water. That's, that's really, really good. Okay, here's my solution to this problem. Here's my solution to this problem. We're just going to move our entire operation across a little bit here. So we are going to definitely keep that pump in place. Let's quickly dawdle back to the shop. So how much money are we left with? We're left with 23 plus 8. Can we afford another pipe? That's a pipe for 22. I'll take a pipe for 22. Sure. And that goes in there. Pay for that. Tell you what, just leave... Leave the two coins in there. We've got nine nine coins worth. It ain't it ain't much, but it's something. Alright, so I'm hopeful that we're gonna be able to maybe, just maybe bring the water across enough to see if we can try and provide enough clearance for uh That's not good. I mean, I'm not entirely optimistic that this is a strategy that's going to work. <gasps> it works. It works. It totally works. It totally works. Okay. This is the greatest of news. Nope. Nothing. And... I mean, I feel like if we get... If we nail this... If we nail this location, we'll be fine for water forever. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's the greatest. It's the greatest. It's the greatest setup of all time. And by the greatest setup of all time, I mean it is the most... It is the most dodgy, basic setup that I have ever constructed in any game ever. However, it's the first... It's the first stage of automating this utter monster of a production process. Oh, it's automatically refilling. Look at that. I would hate uh, I would hasten as hasten to add that this is this is an automation of one part of the process. You know, we've not ex uh, we've not uh, we've not automated the excavation yet or the sweeping. Like that's still my responsibility at this moment in time. And right, get that brush out of there. There we go. Smash you in there. Look at that. Look at that. So already, the time saving is... is I, I actually feel, unironically, somewhat significant. Okay. Nothing. It does kind of mitigate against the need for a, uh, for a second pan, though. To be honest. Yeah, that second, that second pan can sort of take a little bit of a backseat for now, I think. Cool. Get that in there. Nice, looking good. That in there, wonderful. All right, I did say during the day we would go and take a little gander to see what else was in the other equipment shop. And that's still the plan, to be honest. Also, I haven't found any, uh, any gems yet, which I believe are part of the game. So I should, in fact, be able to discover gems as well as, you know, uncut ores and whatnot. Oh, that is a, that is an absolute peach of a, peach of a nugget. All right, let's see if we can try and dig from somewhere else. I feel like maybe I'll get lucky somewhere else, you know? But don't get stuck in a hole, potato. That's never a good, never a good idea. No, nothing. Nada. Absolutely nothing. Also, I would love to get confirmation that nobody can just come in and steal my gold. Or indeed any of my other junk. It's valuable stuff, you know? Good stuff. Uh, can't dig up that little pile of nonsense that I created earlier, but that's fine. Oh, look at this. Every, every single... Every single pan is delivering. And that's how it should be. It's delightful. Oh, it's so good. Okay. And that goes in there. That goes in there. I don't think that bit of gold went in, but no worries. That's totally fine. 
All right, so it's the daytime. Oh, look at this gold. Look at this gold. We're actually, actually doing it. Actually, unironically doing it. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the piping system, the automated the automated water setup, which is quite nice. Can I have a little look at the map just to see where we are at the moment and to see where Bridgepore is? Okay, so Bridgepore is just across the bridge over this way, and then around around the bend. Okay, I think that we can just about manage to to get there in the uh, in the tractor. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. Apparently, I own this tractor. Watch the map. That don't run over the map. The map is indestructible, apparently. Good to know. Very, very good to know. We'll avoid it in the future. Okay. So what do we got over here? I believe that we can buy additional plots of land. So we are currently just working with the first plot here. Oh my good. Have you ever seen a more rickety, dangerous bridge? I absolutely have not. Oh my giddy aunt. Right, so over here, I do indeed believe it said that there was a stock market. Always steer clear of the stock market. If I've learned anything, it's always steer clear of the flipping stock market. So it looks like there is a different... Yes, yeah, so it looks like there's a couple of different items here. This looks like some, I don't know, some dagger, an axe, or sword, a sword, a ring, and a necklace, I think. And I believe that you can craft all of these different, uh, all of these different items on anvils and, uh, and whatnot. Stuff that you can buy in the shop. Indeed, we may even get further clarity on some additional items that we can buy from the shop once we uh, arrive there. All right, cool. Uh, we should also think about the need to transport resources around, and you know, we should try and optimize to ensure that we don't have to transport resources altogether too often. Not quite sure what's going on over here, but I, I know that I'm looking for a right turn. This thing is actually a little bit funky to drive. Oh, yep, I think this is the right place. This is the place for us. Good stuff. What do we got here? We got a scrap yard. Okay, just crash, potato. That's totally fine. Right, what's uh, what's going on at the scrap yard? Presumably, stuff can be scrapped. I, I don't want to scrap myself, but uh, all right, maybe we can pick up a bargain. That's definitely that's definitely the button that says that we can scrap. Okay, that's that's good. Positive. Good to know. Uh, we might go onto that bridge in just a second. What do we got here? Fabrics, fancy furniture. I do indeed enjoy a little bit of fancy furniture. What do we got? We got a plinth. Show off your gems and jewelry. Okay, the the level of vanity is uh, is excessive even for me. Stores iron and gold bars for safekeeping. Okay, so presumably like this is just entirely like vanity stuff. Golden statues and there's three of them. That's uh, it's expensive right there. Deer trophy. Head of a deer probably dead. Well, thank you for that. Fourteen thousand five hundred uh, bucks for a throne. I mean, that is that is very very pricey. And a fancy bed. I mean, if we can't sleep in comfort, what's the point of sleeping at all, right? All right. None of that looks altogether essential. What do we got here? We got tools and equipment. I think this is exactly what we're after, right? This is this is what we're after. This is the store that we're after. Okay. What do we got here? We've got a harvester. Breaks small chunks of dirt into resources. Bigger yields. Oh, look at that. That is what we're after. A funnel as well. A ram drill. Ram's top level dirt works faster with uh, better water pressure. Gets damaged from unfiltered water. Cool. A goliath drill. Extends arm downwards. Yields more with better water pressure. Gets damaged from unfiltered water. Okay, so that is that is how we automate the, uh, the, dirt, the dirt aspect, right? Like that is 100% what we do. Uh, we've got some pressure gauges. We got a whole bunch of, uh, of pipe bits and bobs. How much did I pay for a pipe intake? Did I pay like fifty-two for a pipe a pipe intake? Because that's a, a bit of a, a bit of a steal. What is this? Repairs, damage, ram drills, harvesters, goliaths. Cool. It's a tool bag. We've got a small furnace, uh, blacksmith hammer, anvil, cork. Yeah, we've seen this stuff before. Water pipe filter. A conveyor belt. Ooh, interesting. Used to move resources around the base. Higher water pressure improves speed. Wonderful. A vertical conveyor belt. A conveyor splitter. Very factorial video game. I like it a lot. A conveyor shredder. Shreds dirt chunks into small pieces. Higher water pressure improves speed. Very, very cool. Wood foundations. Mining helmets. A world map. We got some basic shovels. We got a construction hammer. I'm pretty sure this construction hammer is cheaper here. Uh, but that's maybe just me. What is this? A magnet staff? A fancy magnet on a staff attracts resources in a large area. A saw cuts metal bars clean in half. 
Ooh, interesting, 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 interesting. And scales, ways, resources. Is that super helpful at this moment in time for us? I don't think it is. In fact, you know, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of really, really interesting stuff here, but I don't think any of it is going to come in immediately handy. I think probably one of the uh, the ram drill, I guess, is maybe is maybe what we're after. Next, harvester breaks small chunks of dirt into resources. The harvester, honestly, maybe is slightly better than better than the ram drill. I suspect the the ram drill and the harvester, I mean, together, an unstoppable force. What do we got over here? Housing. All right, so a bed. Oops, a bed, a fishing pot, a tool rack. Construction hammer. I like this. I like this. Wooden stairs. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna build I'm gonna build a, a little mining shack. Oh my goodness. Look at all of this. Look at all of this. We can buy paint buckets. We can buy roofs. Oh, we can buy wall pieces. Oh, this is fantastic. This is my this is my favorite. This is my favorite town. I, I want to move here. Can I move here? Can I buy some property around the area? I legitimately can. Uh, we got another jewelry store over here. Oh my goodness. What is this? Rig parts? This is interesting. Also, what the heck is that? That's a big old skull. Oh, that's the the tool shed, and it's got a, a big old big old bone thing. All right, what do we got? So a tractor. A tractor is five hundred and fifty bucks. Oh my goodness gracious me! This is a beast of a machine, and I believe that this machine will allow us to excavate dirt with that big old dirt ramming rod on the front of it. Or at least let us mine stuff. I think. Goodness gracious me, that's incredible. That is, that is absolutely, truly incredible. And then that's where we've already been. And then, you know what? If we come across this little, this little wonderful bridge, uh, then we're back at our tractor. Wow, what a fun day out. What a absolutely incredible day out. That was very, very, very amusing. I enjoyed that a heck of a lot. Now, how the heck am I going to find my way back home? A wonderful question. A wonderful question. Probably should have asked this question before I set out, but no matter. I'm sure we shall uh, survive and thrive. Right, uh, yeah, we just need to get back and we honestly need to start mining. Honestly, just need to start mining. I think we're after the harvester drill or indeed maybe the the ram thingy, the ram drill, the harvester drill. The, is it the harvester? Harvester drill? Or the ram drill. Either way, oh, slow down, slow down, potato, slow down. Slow down, my dude. Uh, yeah, there are a bunch of plots of land around the place that we can actually buy uh, and expand into and build a base there and etc, etc. However, you know, we need more cash before we're able to do that. Okie doke. Brilliant. Should we just park up? Should we just park up right here? There's no... There's no particular rush. No particular uh, rush or need to uh, to move anywhere else. Okay, so I mean, the more the more I look at this, the more I'm like, holy cow, this is a really, really janky setup. But I mean, goodness gracious me, it is actually working. Right. If it works, it works, right? Also, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe that there are a few... A few interesting... A few interesting things to discover underground. So you can, in fact, just dig... A bunch of really interesting resources up and in fact we might end up doing that but as I say I've really tried I've really tried to not be too on top of where this game is in development because I mean this is just one of those it's just one of those games that I just knew I had to play I knew I had to play because I'm just that interested in it oh my goodness I upset the pan but holy cow I got a huge 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 nugget as a result all right Still looks like water's coming in, thick and fast, which is grand. Okay, water is no longer coming in thick and fast, which is less grand. Uh, there's also a gold nugget there. Wonderful. There we go. Already got a bit in there, a bit of dirt. Oh, man, I love this. I flip and love this. It's so enjoyable genuinely highly enjoyable and we're only on the first level that's what's crazy to me that it, i'm already having an absolute whale of a time excuse me there we go okay yeah so the pipe the pipe system clearly has a lot more 
a lot more complexity than uh, than what I'm currently using it for. I mean, I'm literally just using it for a water outlet, which means I don't have to drop my bucket in the water every 20 seconds or whatever, you know? So there is definitely something that we're going to uh, that we're going to see benefit from. Okay, guys. This pipe system is is like wholly inadequate. As you can probably tell. I need more pipes. That's what I really need. That is what I really need. Okay. There we go. And right. And again. And again. Brilliant. Smash that in there. Smash that in there. Anything? A little bit of a little bit of iron ore. Okay. Right, there are two things that I want to buy. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my pot of treasures. To be honest, it's it's kind of a toss-up. It's kind of a toss-up between whether I want to see if I can try and get some resource like refining tech, or if I want to get like resource extraction tech. Do I prioritize the harvesters? Do I prioritize the drills? Or do I prioritize the uh, the refining? Do I prioritize the anvil? 143. Goodness gracious me. Oh, that is fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. Are we able to fit this? I don't think we're able to fit our coins in the bucket. We got too many coins. We straight up have too many coins. Uh, which is a... Which is a bit of a problem. How the heck am I going to manage this? Uh, okay, well, I guess we're just going to have to walk our coins back to the shop. Not necessarily a walk of shame, but it certainly feels a little bit shameful. I would like a carry pouch or a coin pouch or something something along those lines. All right, smash that in there. So what is that? Uh, that's about 150 coins. About 150 coins. So a grinding wheel. We can get a grinding wheel. Uh, grind uncut gems into cut gems easily with this mounted stone wheel. Well, given that we don't have any gems to cut, bit pointless, isn't it? Pans. We don't need any pans. We don't need any brushes. We don't need any buckets. We don't need a pickaxe. Uh, although we could afford it. Definitely don't need a pickaxe. An improved shovel. Uh, dig dirt into bucket and pour into pan. Uh, the deeper you dig, the better the resources. Yeah, we don't, we don't need that. I tell you what. Does, um, does maybe if I put the... If I put the dirt into the bucket, does that give me more... Does that give me... Does that give me more stuff? Like, does that give me more dirt in the... In the pan? I guess we'll have to... We'll have to find out, right? Uh, hit place down items to lock them. No more picking them up by accident. Ooh, that would be good, in fact. I think I'll take the bed, to be honest. I'm gonna take the bed because that's pretty important as just a... Excuse me? Thank you. Right, so that's going to cost us 43 bucks. Uh, I'm going to see if I can throw down, like, another two bits of pipe. Honestly, I think another two bits of pipe would be just perfect. What does that total come to? 87 bucks. Just uh, roll with me for a second here, folks. Conveys water, a water tea pipe. Yes, I think if I get a water tea pipe, then that would be fantastic. A water tea pipe, and you'll see exactly what I'm going to do with it in just a second. So water tea pipe right over there. 109 bucks. Uh, stick that on the bed for now. That's totally fine. Uh, is that enough? I think that might be enough. Okay, let's buy it. Let's buy it. He says, very confidently. There we go. He's bought it. Okay, 44 coins left. Let's smash that in the bucket. Just there for now. Let me pick up the bed. I'm going to wander over to here. Uh, I feel a bit guilty about putting my bed frankly, in the middle of the street. So that's why I'm going to place it down over here on a big pile of dirt. And we're going to sleep. And that is, of course, very advantageous because as a content creator, I hate that term, but as a YouTuber, it's always good to make sure that your audience can see what the heck you're doing. I tell you what, it does wonders. It does wonders for uh, for video for video audience retention if, you're, if your viewers can actually see what the heck is going on. It's funny that, isn't it? Funny, that. All right. So, let's zoom, 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 zoom over here. You can probably start to see exactly what I'm thinking of. Uh, do we want to do, do this over here? I was thinking we could maybe move the pump somewhere else. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna move the pump right over here. I think we're gonna move the pump right over here. So, place this down. Hey, 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 it works. Excellent. So I think it should just work a little bit more smoothly. That goes down over there. Uh, now, as a consequence of that, we can move our... There we go. We can move our lanterns over here. I mean, let's be real, right? We've already dug out a huge divot of ground over there, which you can't really see because of the because of the darkness at the moment. There we go. Let's get all that turned on. All right, now. Now, 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 now. Because the, uh, the little bit of dirt over here is a little bit thinner, should be relatively easy for us to get the pipe and whatnot in place. Uh, I've got another bit of pipe, don't I? I can go and fetch another bit of pipe. Yeah, let's go and get another bit of pipe. Let's go and get another bit of pipe. Wonderful. And in fact, you know, we've still got money. We've still got money and it's, uh, that's pretty darn, it's pretty darn good. It's pretty darn important. Alrighty. So, not the last bit of pipe, but the penultimate bit of pipe. Okay. Let's get this placed down right there. Oh, it's so good. This is going to work. This is going to work like an absolute dream. Okay. Oh, it works like an absolute dream. All right, we got two, we got two pans. Didn't work as much like a dream as I wanted it to, but not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, we'll go back and get our brush. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Oh, look at that. All right, I need to get, I need to get a bucket. I should not just drop bits of, uh, bits of valuable gem around the place. Also, where the heck did my buckets go? I know buckets are dirt cheap, but bloomin' neck, I should be, I should be a little bit more concerned with making sure that my buckets don't go, uh, don't go walk about. All right, smash that down there. That's really, really good. Okay, next little experiment. Next little experiment is uh, is what's the advantage? What's the advantage for actually using a? What's the advantage from actually using a bucket in order to put those, in order to put the bucket dirt into the pan? Because it might be that if we put the dirt into the bucket first, then we will be allowed to. Oh, you're not going to let me go up here, are you? Well, you didn't really disallow me. You just strongly encouraged me not to go up there. I mean, this is early access. Right. Unstuck. That's that's what I was after. Great. Thank goodness that's an option, eh? Thank goodness that's an option. Okay, uh, we do have a bucket here. I was thinking of fetching the bucket from up at the... Uh, from up at the the uh, the jewelry store, but no matter that's not a problem. Okay What I was gonna test was I was gonna test Will our bucket allow more resource into the pan? I presume so like it must right? That is a full bucket worth of dirt Excuse me Definitely Put the appropriate amount of dirt into that bucket, and I definitely lined it up with a pan, but... There we go. See, I think that's more. I think that's more, right? It looks... It looks to be more. It definitely looks to be more dirt. Why can I not scoop... multiple different times into the same pan? Your guess is as good as mine. Your guess is as good as mine. Yeah, I just can't do it. That's so weird. I uh, I can't do it. And yet I can scoop multiple different times into the same bucket. Oh well, I mean that's it's uh, it's no big deal for me. What is that? There we go. I I see you. I see a little bit a little bit of gold ore, just chilling around. I'm still on the lookout for a gem, to be honest. Uh, so far, only iron and only gold. Okay. 
Nice. Right in there. Also, I am totally aware of the fact that I am absolutely destroying this landscape. I'm not exactly proud of it. Do I care though? Not really. Not, not particularly. A double whammy and I got nothing? I mean, I did get something. I think maybe because it's on a slope means that I'm being uh, treated a little bit more, a little bit more harshly. Anything appear? Oh yeah, look at that. Something did appear. All right, that's fine. All right. Again, is is it worth it? Is it worth it in terms of uh, in terms of optimizing? Is it worth it to stick it in a bucket before the dirt in a bucket? I, I remain truthfully unconvinced. Highly unconvinced. All right. Maybe I should just dig for a while. I feel like digging is uh, digging is a favorite pastime of mine. That is a highly illegal maneuver. And, uh, see, this is a bad thing about using a bucket, right? If you use the bucket, there's more... There's more failure points. You know, disregard the fact that it does take slightly longer. There's more, uh, There's more opportunity for you to just mess up the... Mess up the excavation, right? Alrighty. I tell you what, though. Even though... Even though the bucket method I don't think is that great, I still feel like I'm I still feel like I'm really rocking it. I'm really rocking it. I feel very, very good in terms of uh in terms of my gold right now. Right, let's do let's do some single pan. There we go. Some single pan loads just for now. Nice. I reckon. I reckon you could get some speed on like this. Because there's no, there's no real necessity to, uh, to change your, to change your strategy halfway through. I mean, we can just continue to do a little scoop of dirt, a little scoop of dirt, a little, a little interaction with the brush, a little sweepy sweep, a little sweepy sweep. I don't believe we need to. We need to collect our resources halfway through. I think they'll still be in the pan for us to collect when we're ready. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That is looking that is looking real, real flipping good. My goodness, I can't believe it. Look at that. It works. It works. It works. It works. Oh, it's looking so nice. It's looking so darn nice. Oh, we did accidentally fill up our gem bucket with water, but that's fine. Or ore bucket with uh, with water. All right. Uh, we can do another empty here. All right. Well, it didn't work flawlessly. Gotta be honest. Didn't work flawlessly. Did not work flawlessly at all. All right. Slam that in there. Slam that in there. I wonder how many bits of, the bits of gold and whatnot I'll be able to store in here. I have absolutely no idea. I do, however, know that this is... This is actually, like, a legitimate strategy. Man, I love it. I love it when the game just allows you to do whatever the heck you want to do. I think that's such a... Such a sign of a game that is confident in its design. Right. Uh oh. This bucket is slightly misplaced. Will that work? I think that might just work. Cool. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. That looks like a lot of dirt in there. But I think it might just be the dirt coming through the, uh... Yeah, coming through the side of the... The side of the pan. An interesting combination. Right, can I remove this dirt from the pan? He can indeed. 
Excellent. Looking good. Smash that in there, smash that in there. Oh, I'm so wealthy already. Just from manual prospecting for gold. I've already become at least a thousand there. Still no sign of a ruby or an emerald or a diamond, if indeed those are things that can be acquired in said video game. Okay. I need to make sure that I click on the bucket as opposed to not clicking on the bucket. Okay. All right, after this, I think we're gonna go and take a trip to the shoppy because I'm ready. I mean, I'm ready to, I'm ready to buy something. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Little additional bit of resource over there. So again, I'm gonna try pouring it in here. Oh, it actually worked on that occasion. Wonderful. So we try to stick that in there. So place your bets in the comments right now. How much? How much gold or how much cash am I going to be walking away with from the shop? That is. Okay, this is definitely not going to fit. Worth a shot, though. It was worth a shot. I failed miserably. Okay, this is. Actually a little over full this bucket. Oh, what is that? That's an uncut ruby Very very interesting. So that is the first gemstone that I think we have discovered Which is good because it means that this patch isn't completely worthless Right am I am I full I could have just taken this in a pan, but I felt like that would be No what what the heck happened? That was not a not a not an allowed move. I think ever since I'd filled it up with water, that created somewhat of a problem. Dude, this has got to be at least 200, 200 bucks. There's no way. There's no way that this is a a penny less than two hundred. I refuse to believe it. All right. Well, you know what? A little bit of a little bit of a manual labor, manual labor to keep you humble. It's pretty good, right? Let's do that right in there, right in there. Okay, great. I've just had just about had enough of faffing around with tiny little bits of uh, of ore. Oh, maybe this is even like three hundred. I don't know, dude. This feels this feels good. I am going to, en route to the, en route to the shop, I'm going to sleep a little bit. So again, we can see what we're doing. And let's rock and roll. Now I've got two buckets up here, or I will have two buckets up here. Probably not the appropriate, most appropriate thing to do. I should uh, definitely make sure that I keep an eye on my buckets. Right, 300, 300. Also, what the heck is up here? What the heck is up here? What do we got in here? Oh, lovely. It's a little town. Oh, is this a, a stock market? That, that kind of terrifies me. I think this is a stock market, or at least it's an area where you can sell refined goods. We don't actually have any refined goods at this moment in time. Anything else within this, within this town? I don't think so. I don't think any of the houses actually do anything at this moment in time. But you never know. That might change. Maybe I can move those boxes. Maybe I can't. Who knows? All right. Get out of here and let's have a little look. See, what do we got? 200, 267. I mean, I feel frankly like it could be, could be a little bit more than that. Yeah, no, I, I, I really don't like the fact that, uh, don't like the fact that I can't carry that, but you know what? That's, that's fine. Okay. So that's 200 and that's 267. Which makes, which makes what? I mean, it's a good amount. It's a good amount of cash. Maybe I should utilize a pan for uh, for cash hoarding, right? It's a good amount of cash in combination with the forty-four bucks that we've got there. That's what three? Yeah, three hundred eleven. Three hundred eleven in total. 
So that could theoretically allow us to get... It could allow us to get a... I tell you what, it could allow us to get a refining setup. The reason that I suggest maybe a refining setup is because it's a heck of a lot cheaper. I think we go for a refining setup. I think this is what we're going to do, folks. This is this is absolutely what we're going to do. Okay, so that crucible is going to cost us... Sorry, that's not the crucible. That's the small furnace. That costs us 86. Then we get the crucible. That costs us 18 bucks. That's not, not very much. That's how they operate, by the way, I believe. And after that, we need to get a casting mold. Pour molten metal from the crucible into the mold to produce bars. Yes, absolutely. That's wonderful. Anything else that we're going to need... In order to make this work, a blacksmithing hammer used on an anvil uh, to create resources. I mean, we still have plenty of cash, right? Should I see if I can get an improved shovel? We get an improved shovel as well. Throw that into the mix. That's 200, 224. An anvil costs 86. That's three. That takes that takes us up to 310. Right, so that leaves us, that leaves us with just a need to acquire a blacksmithing hammer, which is also quite nice. I think that's what we're going to do. All right, sign me up. Excellent. Now, haven't really thought this through in terms of making a building. We obviously need to, you know, find somewhere semi-permanent to put this, uh, to put this set up. I'm going to place it on some dirt. That seems like a little bit of a violation of, of the health and safety code, if indeed I do say so myself. But uh, but that's fine. That's fine at least for now. We, we can we can worry about that in just a second. Let's move this let's move this junk. I mean let's move this good stuff back from the back from the shop. And also let's see if we can try and get an equipped shovel. I want to see how the heck uh, how how much it actually how much it actually moves. If it ends up moving just a slight little bit more, is it going to be worth it? Probably not. Maybe I'm gonna be able to put some more uh, some more stuff directly in pans. That would be that would be pretty exceptional if that's the case. Anvil isn't super essential for us at this moment in time, but that's okay. Man, this is what a what a janky little setup we've got going on here. Yeah, it's a real problem. I need to buy some of this uh, wooden foundation nonsense. Some of these wooden foundations would be pretty darn good. Yeah, they'd be really really helpful. All right, uh, dig dirt into your bucket and pour into pan. The deeper you dig, the better the resources. So what is what is the difference in in shovel capability? I mean, it does seem like it's getting slightly more dirt. I don't I don't even know how deep down you can dig to be honest. I have absolutely no idea. But I guess we'll find out, right? Tech. I yeah, definitely it's definitely more. He says very confidently. Yeah, because that fills the bucket with just two scoops. What about the pans? Yeah, I think there's definitely more... There's definitely more dirt going into the pans now as well. Alright, so just that. A, uh, a pretty darn a pretty darn good optimization, if indeed I do say so myself. Let's put you back under here. There we go. Yeah. All right, I definitely think that that's more. I definitely think that that's more. All right, and then this goes under there. Nope. Yeah, a, a, a metal a metal base, a wooden base would be exceptional right now. Would be really, really handy. All right. Have I, have I done it? Have I, have I managed? We managed. Okay, great. Uh, let's grab the improved shovel and let's see what we can do. Okay. Now, I'm not looking for much here. But I'm looking for a little bit of gold ore. Maybe a little bit of iron ore. Just so that we can start smelting some bars. Because I think that would be a really good next project. I mean, we've got the equipment for goodness sake, don't we? We've got the equipment. We might as well start to take advantage of it. Look at the holes we're digging here. Oh my goodness. Terraforming the landscape doesn't even begin to describe what we're gonna do to this area. Actually feel bad for it. Okay. 
I will say, I do feel like I'm making pretty significant progress already. Which is very, very nice indeed. Okay. Alright, one more... One more little digging exercise. Right, that'll do it for me. That will be grand. Alright, let's take the resources out here. There we go. Dump them in a pile. And then dump this stuff in a pile too. It's, it was a little bit less dignified than before. But that's fine. Right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Got a whole bunch of gold ore. Ooh, that is a uncut emerald. Wonderful. Okay, I mean, nice. It's a nice little bonus. So, I think this crucible is what we're looking for, right? I think I'm looking to see if we can try and stick a little bit of gold into this crucible. And then we're going to see if we can heat the crucible up. And then, hopefully, just be able to pour it straight into a couple of molds. Or I'd say a couple of molds. We have one mold. We, we don't have a couple of molds. We can't, uh... We can't be picky about this. Alright, so... Next thing that we're after... Excuse me? Next thing that we're after, we need to stick it on the... On the fire. Can I have a little look in here? Alright, and just stand on top of it. And we can watch the gold melt into a lovely molten form. Look at that. Look at how hot that's getting. Look at how hot that's getting. It's getting real juicy. Real juicy, real hot, real spicy. Okay, can I just touch this? Can I can I touch this molten this molten iron vestibule here? Alright, let's see if I can just pour it pour it into the Pour into mold when melted. Okay, I don't actually think it's melted. It doesn't look melted, at least it doesn't look that melted from from here, anyway. Okay. Whilst I'm waiting for that to melt, why don't we go back over here? Uh, smash that in a little... Excuse me. No? Alright, you didn't want to do that. That's fine. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Oh, we got a few more resources over here, actually. I didn't even realize. It's the perfect shot. It's the perfect shot. It worked like an absolute charm. All right, so that goes over there. Uh, where is our other resource? Ah, yes. A pretty substantial gold nugget, in fact. Right, how's it looking? How's it looking? How's it looking? Have we got, we got gold? We've got molten gold. Brilliant. Let's pour it. It's, it's a gold bar. It's a flippin' gold bar. It's a flippin' gold bar. We still have more gold in there, or is that, is that all of our gold? I presume that it might make different sized gold bars depending on depending on the size. Am I able to drop a bit of gold in there right now? And it instantly it instantly vaporizes that bit of gold. So that's nice. Right, more gold, more gold in here. Presumably, as I say, the weight differs. I also am making the assumption that you cannot combine iron and gold into a single bar. One must imagine that they are kept somewhat separate as resources, given that they are separate metals. So that in there, that in there. Is that the extent of our gold ore? Looks it to me. Right, whap that back on the furnace for a little bit. I mean, and then let's just marvel at the fact that we have a gold bar. Look at this. Uh, we could put this anvil down, by the way. Ah, look at this. Look at this. This is a list of things that we can make on the anvil. So this is kind of cool. And it shows us the recipe. It shows us the recipe, in fact. So I think in order to make in order to make a ring, we need one gold bar, or one presumably bar of iron. I presume an iron bar might do might do what we require. No, I guess uh, I guess that's a, an iron bar. And then that's a gold bar. So we need one bar of gold and one and one cut diamond, or one cut ruby, or one cut cut emerald. But presumably in order to do that, we need to get a grindstone. And in order to get a grindstone, we need to spend some money. A necklace requires two iron bars, or two gold bars even. So that's also something to consider. And it's another, it's another bar. 
it's another flipping bar. I mean, how much are these actually worth? I, I, I don't know. I have absolutely no idea how much these are worth, but it is kind of neat. All right, can I stick? Can I stick a little a little hunk of iron in here? Stick a hunk of iron in there, and then pour it into. Oh, look at the look at the piddly little size of that bar. All right, so that worked. I mean, that definitely worked. I have no idea what I'm going to do with a bar of that size, but I mean, it's pretty pretty disappointing to be honest. Look at this. We've created a total total mess. Um, I, I gotta, I gotta tell, I gotta tell. I guess this is why you want scales, right? You want scales so that you're able to, you're able to differentiate between the different size of, uh, of resources. I gotta, I gotta see, how much is this gold bar actually worth? Because I'm making the assumption that a gold bar is worth more than, you know, unrefined gold, uh, gold ore. And that's gotta be the case, right? That's gotta be the case. I, I don't know. I'm betting like, what, 150 maybe? 150 for this? 121 not not bad not bad, but also not like that great uh, So I think that the real added value is gonna come with the With the uh, with the manufacturing of jewelry, which is quite exciting. Can I get up to the roof here? I mean it says it's a staircase, but it's it's a it's a lying staircase. It's a lot I hate fake staircases can't stand fake staircases. Can we move these things? No, we can't move these things Man, oh man, oh man! This is looking wonderful. What a what a wonderful little game. Um, we're gonna be we're gonna be playing through this until you know we've unlocked absolutely everything. Can't forget about my gold bar. Cannot forget about my gold bar. Very important that I stay with it. Uh, we're gonna be playing through this uh, this nifty little game until we've unlocked pretty much everything and we've got a wonderful a wonderfully automated empire. Uh, I'm really, really excited about it. Ladies and gents, I hope you are too. Thank you very, very much for watching this first episode of Hydroneer. I of course have been over to Potato. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, as ever, to the fantastic Obra Potato Incorporated Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash Obra Potato. Thanks also to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two twenty-five dollars plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.